Okay, in this Photoshop tutorial I want to quickly show you how to apply a mask to a folder. Uh, masks are used in a lot of di different situations to uh, crop pictures, remove artifacts from pictures, put opacity on and generally have a bit of a play with. What I want to do is use a mask on a folder within web design to be able to show a client different header images that can be used on their website and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time cropping, resizing, adjusting the picture to make sure it's just right. I want to be able to throw a load of pictures into a folder, have a mask on the folder that just simply reveals a part of the picture. So here we go. So I've got this graphic just here that I want to replace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call the folder uh, picture samples and then into that I'm going to put the different pictures that I want to see. So first of all I'm going to drag this blue square into it. Uh, I know this blue square is the correct shape and size so I'm going to hold the Apple key and I'm going to click this layer and I'm going to click on the folder and I'm then going to click the add layer mask icon. So I've now put a layer mask directly onto this folder and the folder contains the shape. So all I have to do now is go and grab a picture that I want. So I'm going to Apple C and copy this picture and then I'm going to Apple V and paste it into the background here. Apple T to transform this picture and then I'm going to hold the Alt and the Shift key to resize and constrain at the same time from the center and then drag up and across so you can see the training shoe as it's been revealed. So I can just put that in the corner just there. Hit return to save those changes to that picture. I also have a, a Dan board on a train track that I'd like to have a play with so I'm just going to copy that one. Go back to my composition, make sure that my folder is selected so it puts it at the top of that folder. I'm going to paste it in Apple T to transform this picture. Shift and Alt to constrain picture and scale it from its center point. I'm going to hold the shift key and just resize it again. But as you can see that it's very quick to be able to put lots of different pictures in a folder and still maintain a good neat edge around the outside. I can even turn off the man you can see. So that's a very easy way of being able to get creative and saving yourself a whole lot of time.